From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's amazing. Right here on Evenings LA, as the markets rally dramatically up 700 points on news. But was it good news or misunderstood news? We'll go over the latest details across the board in a big night from the shores of Santa Monica, California. As massive stimulus has been passed, as for you, these 2023 stimulus checks are incredible. SSI getting stimulus checks, SSDI getting stimulus checks, SSA, veterans, low income for all U.S. states and U.S. territories. And these are averaging about 18 months of beautiful stimulus checks, five checks per month, and $3,000 on average. We'll go over all these incredible stimulus checks in tonight's recording. Plus, we'll go over the unemployment stimulus for 2023, PBT stimulus checks, and the brand new stimulus check R. Go under this video, become a member, and go right into that membership newsletter at the address on the screen, also in the pinned comment, also in the description, and also at the top of the chat. And apply for these incredible stimulus checks A to C, E to K, and L to Q plus R in tonight's recording. Plus, we'll go over the breaking news that happened with the markets as a series of numbers were released today in the monthly numbers we were waiting for a long time. And the numbers showed remarkably that unemployment dropped to 3.5%, lower than even expected with the markets. From 3.7, no, it came in even lower, down to 3.5. That would signal the Federal Reserve would raise rates, wouldn't it? Not according to the markets. The markets were up dramatically based upon the news. Tonight you learn whether it's stimulus or whether it's the markets. It's not so much the news, but what was the cause of the news. So tonight we're going to go over 2023 stimulus checks, the largest stimulus checks of a generation. Why? Because it's a combination of three years of checks. It's over this one hour broadcast. Stay with me as I guide you through each of these wonderful stimulus checks, how to get them for you and your family. Then we're going to turn back to the markets, up 700 points. But it's not so much that the market was up 700 points, it's why was it or was it in an accurate basis? We'll have the latest details from the shores of Santa Monica, California. The toast was toasting this morning, and the market was rallying. We'll have the latest details of what you need to know, and the great news with all these incredible stimulus checks. I'm excited you're here for America's most watched show for prime time for financial news. It's evenings, and it starts right now. Good evening, everybody. Four stimulus checks in every U.S. state and every U.S. territory. It's a combination of three years of checks. I'm going to go over these incredible checks in this broadcast. Stay with me throughout this entire one-hour broadcast. we got hundreds of checks to go with you over. I'm going to go over that incredible membership newsletter where viewers are getting massive sums of money. Then we'll be cutting back to the Federal Reserve and why people are analyzing things wrong and why they're going to be on the wrong side of the equation. But first, let's start with those great stimulus checks for 2023. Lots of it. $300,000 of fast stimulus, 18 months. $3,000 a month and five checks per month on average. These are stimulus checks for you, and you deserve these incredible checks. We're going to go over these beautiful checks in this broadcast. Let's go over first who the checks are for, then what are the checks, and then we're going to go over how to get the checks. We have a lot of fun, and we have a lot of information in tonight's broadcast. Thank you for joining me from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Tonight, there's massive stimulus for the American people in 2023. Why are there so many stimulus checks in 2023? Because the combination of 2020, 2021, and 2022 stimulus checks, you're not going to hear these anywhere else in the American broadcasting system tonight because they don't care to cover this. They just sort of skip over this and go over to Kevin McCarthy and his failures in securing a House vote at 1,000% time. This is why this channel exists. In 2020, there was a lot of stimulus passed by Congress, and a lot has not expired. Same thing for 2021. 2022 is, well, also from the president. And there's over a half a billion dollars of stimulus for you for 2023. And I'm going to show you how to get this beautiful stimulus in tonight's broadcast. We're going to go over stimulus checks A to C, then E to K. Then L to Q and the brand new stimulus check R. Without a delay, let's go right into each of these incredible checks and then we'll go over how to get them 
in the beautiful membership newsletter. Stimulus check A to C. These are the ones done by Joe Biden. These are the ones done by Joe Biden, and they're really quite wonderful. Let's go over these first three checks A to C starting right now and ask how were they made law. These were made law by Joe Biden by a series of executive actions, and they established stimulus checks A, B, and C. Been with this channel, you know that I love stimulus check B especially because it gives you a lot of months of stimulus checks. My prediction early last year is that the U.S. economy would have suffer a two-year recession starting about 60 days from now. And that two-year recession would be 24 months, and that's why you need lots of months of stimulus checks. And that's what stimulus check B gives you. A is great as well, and so is check C. You qualify. Again, these are stimulus checks for you. Go get them. I'm going to go over each of these wonderful checks in this broadcast. Then came Congress, and they established more stimulus checks in a bill in 2022. Those are stimulus checks E to K. I'm going to go over all those hundreds of checks we're then at in this broadcast. Then I found you more checks, L and M, N and O, P and Q, because I care about you. And I'm always looking for more stimulus checks. And the latest broadcast, we're going to go over those beautiful stimulus checks are. But A to Q has about 18 months of stimulus checks on average, $3,000 a month, five checks per month. It's just wonderful. Without a delay, let's go right into those first three checks, A, B, and C, starting right now. Those first three checks, A, B, and C, are really quite wonderful. A, B, and C, how do you get them? You become a member and you stay with me over this broadcast because I'm going to go over all these incredible checks in this broadcast. A, B, and C. So what does stimulus check A look like? It's beautiful. It's $6,500 to $12,000. It's a beautiful stimulus check in every U.S. state. Get this incredible stimulus check A in the membership newsletter. You're not done there yet. Then go to stimulus check B, which is fifteen to 80000 Wow. Now, Stimulus Check B is a great check in the membership newsletter. Why? Because this is the check that helps people get 18 months of stimulus monthly checks. Yes, MSEs. Law. Passed. And this is the one that helps people get lots of months of stimulus checks. A two-year recession is my prediction, 24 months. We'll know definitively next month in February if it's two years or two months, but I say it's going to be two years. And that's why you need as close to 24 months of stimulus checks. I have for you in that stimulus check P, 18 months of beautiful checks. But we're not done there yet. We're going to go get stimulus check C, which is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. And that is why this is such incredible great news. So much money across the board and just keeps on getting better left and right. You want to get as much of the stimulus as possible. And these incredible stimulus checks are just getting started in this broadcast tonight. A, B, and C. That's where we are so far. We're getting more checks in just a second. So B is a great check. Why? Because of so many months that this great check B pays out. Five checks per month on average. 18 months on average. Three checks, $3,000 a month on average. It's a lot of money, and you want these incredible stimulus checks from the shores of Santa Monica, California. You really want these incredible checks. Look at what Frank Mancuso got. He got 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of high-speed internet in, in Florida. He deserves it. You deserve it as well. Go around this video, become a member, and get these incredible stimulus checks A, B, and C. They get better across the board. Now, C is for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And let's look at see what some people have gotten for this beautiful money for Stimulus Check C as members. Do you want $15,000? No. Viewers on average are getting $30,000 from rent from Stimulus Check C. What comes after that in Stimulus Check C? Well, they're also getting utilities. And how much for utilities? That is about $15,000. Wow. It gets even better. And then they're getting combinations of checks. Those combinations of checks are delivering them a lot of money. 23000 initially for Nisi, but then she went to 50000 And here's Mark, who was at 32000 He went to 50000 then 100000 then 166000 And here's Lorraine. She was at a whopping 105000 and she went to $150,000. This is that beautiful stimulus check C. Now, in that membership newsletter, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. 12 places. You want to make sure you reach out to all 12 places. You'll get a yes. You'll also get a no. Average rejection rate about 50%, and average approval rate about 50%. So you want to rock and roll with this as soon as possible. Pounce is a purple hawk. Go around this video, become a member, and get these incredible stimulus checks A, B, and C. What have we also seen for stimulus checks E? 
A, B, and C. Well, these are the checks from Joe Biden. But after you get these checks from both Joe Biden, A, B, and C, you want to get stimulus checks E through K. And E through K are huge. Before we go to those incredible stimulus checks E through K, how do I get these stimulus checks? The answer is very simple. In the membership newsletter, made easier than ever before. The membership newsletter now has two poems. It's brand new second home viewers are loving. It's at news.lla.com forward slash newsletter. It's a website, the address of which is on the screen right there. You don't even have to write down the address. Why? Because look at the top of the chat. It's in the top of the chat. Look under the comments of the video. It's pinned under the comments. Look at the description of the video. It's under the description of the video. All you have to do is take your finger and touch it, and you go right into that website. Moreover, you can apply for these incredible stimulus checks now, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because the website never closes. That's why viewers are loving the brand new website. And become a member, go into this video, become a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP, and stay with me, because I'm going to go over more about this newsletter in just a second. After stimulus check C from Joe Biden, then the Congress came along and passed stimulus checks E through K. And let's go with those beautiful stimulus checks tonight. And again, these are stimulus checks for you. So before we get into the stimulus checks E through K, let me remind you, these are stimulus checks for you. <laughs> I had a laugh. I do think it's a little sarcastic, but I still had a laugh just two seconds before coming on camera. Someone said, are these stimulus checks for people in South Carolina? I said, oh, is South Carolina not in America? Is South Carolina not in the United States? <laughs> these are stimulus checks for Americans. These are stimulus checks for people who live in U.S. territories and U.S. states. And last time I checked, I think South Carolina is, but I'm not positive. <laughs> Let's go to stimulus checks either, okay? Stimulus check E, $7,500 stimulus check. Love it. Stimulus check F, a $4,000 stimulus check. Wow. Stimulus check G is a beautiful 30% off. Wow. And then stimulus check H, a $2,000 stimulus check for a brand new, beautiful pink poinsettia plant. Look at that. Do you see it behind me? Yeah. She or he is joining the show tonight on Eating's LA for the first time. Her premiere tonight is that beautiful plant. She was one of the plants featured on this channel back in the month of December during the holidays LA shows. And look how beautiful she still looks. She has been in a cool, semi-dark, not very sunny room not well watered. They don't like too much water. I learned that. If you give them a little bit too much water, they don't like it. So look how gorgeous she is. And her younger brother, uh, oh, slightly older brother is the, is the yellow one. And then the red one in the background is the oldest brother. If you take care of plants, they really last really well. Of course, all the plants on the set are totally real. Stimulus check F is a beautiful $4,000 stimulus check. Stimulus check G, 30% off. Wow. Stimulus check H, a $2,000 stimulus check. I love it. Again, these are stimulus checks for you. SSI, go get them. SSDI, SSA, Rare World Babbitt's Veterans, go get them. Stimulus check J and I, $8,000 each. And then stimulus check K, $14,000. So those are stimulus checks E through K. Those are the ones from Congress. So we did A, B, and C from Joe Biden, and then we did E through K from Congress. Now we're going to go to the other checks that I found you. They're L to Q and then over to R. L is a beautiful $100,000 of average loan industry grant money. And then M is a $4,000 grant. Love it. Then stimulus N, the one I'm most fond of, brand new computer. Yes, you heard me right. Brand new computer, brand new laptop, free internet. It is just insane. Did I say tablet? Also, tablet, computer, and or laptop, and then free internet. And then stimulus check O, zero down payment, zero closing costs for a brand new mortgage. Stimulus check P, 3% for a refi, and Q is $8,000 across the board. So there you go. Those are A to C, E to K, and L to Q. All those checks on that graphic are for you. They are for you, for individuals who are SSI, your stimulus checks, are those. SSDI, those are your stimulus checks. SSA, those are your stimulus checks. Veterans, VA, those are your stimulus checks. Low income, 75000 or less, 2022 income, go get them, those are yours. Married couple, 150000 or less, those are yours. Absolutely incredible. And these are your 2023 stimulus checks. Now, how do I get these beautiful stimulus checks? So let's go over that right now. First, you want to go in this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. You can become a member to any one of the three broadcasting channels of the LA family. Channel 1, LA1, or Channel 2, LA2, or Channel 3, LA3. 
Then, right after you become a Purple Hawk, a Purple Power, a Calcino VIP member, then you go into the newsletter and start applying for those incredible checks. The address of the newsletter is on the screen right there. How obvious an address is that for a website? It's very obvious. News.la.com forward slash newsletter. So I make it even easier for you. Not only do I put all the stimulus checks together, not only do I research for the stimulus checks for you, not only do I put all the application links together for you, I put it on a website that's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it's at LA Light. Isn't that incredible? So the brainchild of this was myself around the Christmas holiday. I thought, you know, how, what can you give us a great gift to the viewers of this channel? An ability to become a member and go right in and apply for stimulus checks seconds thereafter. Not have to wait to Monday through Friday, not have to wait to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, do it right away. And viewers love this. So first, how do you become a member? You go under this video, hit that join button. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Any one of the three broadcasting channels, LA1 or LA2 or LA3. Next, go right on this video, top of the chat, or under the, the pinned comment, the first comment, it'll have a link right into that website. You'll see it says newsletter news.la.com forward slash newsletter. You go right in there. Final part is go into the post on your YouTube channel that you're a member to and look at the most recent post and it'll say current password. Current password. Grab that password and put it right in because yes, the newsletter on that newsletter website is password protected because you are a valued member of this incredible membership family. So go right in there and get these incredible stimulus checks. And those are ABC, E to K, and L to Q. But we're not done there yet. Next up is the beautiful stimulus check R. This shows you how stimulus is going to be in 2023. For many, many different reasons, the stimulus check are. First, I want to go over how I found it, because this is fundamental to understanding how stimulus is going to be for 2023. You would presume that I know every stimulus that is out there. Apparently, I did not, because I was listening to a commercial on my phone, and suddenly it mentioned stimulus check R. And I thought to myself, why have I never heard about it? Now, it's not referred to by name as stimulus check R. I gave it that lettering number. But let me tell you what it is. It's a fortune. <laughs> it's a bloody fortune of money. It could be up over half a million dollars. Yeah, can you imagine that I miss a stimulus that has, over, has upwards of half a million dollars in it for one person? I mean, this is just insane. If you're one of the original viewers of this channel for EIDL in 2020, or PPP in 2020, or, or anything like that, you always ask me, can you find me another business grant? Can you find me another EIDL grant? When are they going to reopen? When is Javier Carranza going to reopen that EIDL grant? You no longer have to ask that, my friends, because tonight we have stimulus check R. And how much is it? It is a fortune. Let's go over the calculations. It works upon the very simple premise of you were an employer of a small business, and you had employees in 2019. The pandemic hit in 2020. What happened? Under this premise, you hopefully never fired them, and you kept them on staff in 2019. If you did, well, it kept them on staff in 2020. If you did, how much are you going to get paid? $4,000. Then, if you kept them on staff in 2021, for every quarter you did, up to three quarters, you're getting $7,000 a quarter per employee. Is it sounding like a lot of money? It is. So if you had an, one employee in 2019, and kept them on staff in 2020 and 2021, you're getting $26,000 for that one person. Yeah, this is adding up very quickly. So if you had 10 employees in 2019, you got fi you fired none of them throughout 2020 and 2021, guess what you're getting? $260,000 of grant money. This is all your money to keep. This is, all, this is not a loan, this is all your money to keep. Are you jumping out of your seat, jumping in joy? I was when I first heard this. This is insane sums of money. And yes, if you had 20 employees in 2019, never fire them in 2020, never fire them in 2021, congratulations. It's over half a million dollars coming to you. It's stimulus. And no one saw this anywhere, except I heard it in a very sort of basic fringe commercial. And I said, how did I ever miss this? 
It's in the membership newsletter. Simple check R. Reach out to your tax preparer because this is critical. It's called the Employee Tax Retention Credit, and it's an insane amount of money. It really um, only got a lot of clearance from Treasury at just in the last few months, so it's brand new in some regards. But again, it's about what you did in 2020, and you're getting paid in 2023. It's just insane. Now, let's go over to PBT and also unemployment, which is much the same situation. It concerns what you did in 2020 and getting paid in 2023. I told you this is why 2023 has so much stimulus. We have stimulus for SSI and SSDI and SSA and veterans, and that stimulus checks A to B and C and E to D and all the way over to Q. And then we go over to the stimulus checks R1. Well, now let's go over to the children. Children are getting PEBT checks in lots of states for what they endured in 2020. And those checks are heating up this broadcast, so I'll have a full-fledged January PEBT show coming to this channel in just a few days. In some cases, it's $391, in other cases, even more than that. The other type of stimulus that's really heating up 2023 is unemployment stimulus. So let's go over that unemployment stimulus right now and understand how it works across the board. Unemployment stimulus is very critical because it's a lot of darn money. And no one ever teaches anyone how to do unemployment stimulus. They just don't. And I recorded unemployment stimulus on this channel the very, very first day I made a recording. And it's back on this channel. I have it back on this channel despite what happened today. Why am I laughing? Because less people became unemployed today. Look at that graphic. Unemployment went down in the latest detail released today. More people are employed than ever before on this channel. And this is not expected, but I think it's going to change the other course. So I'm teaching you, even though unemployment is really low at the moment, I think it's going to turn other course. I think more people will get laid off. So let's go over how unemployment works starting right now in tonight's broadcast. There are two steps for unemployment, step one and step two. In step one, you need to file that claim. And in step two, you need to ask for those weekly checks. The concept of unemployment is very basic, but it looks very unnatural when you're doing it. At step one, you, as a W-2 employee, go to your state's Department of Unemployment and file the claim. It's going to ask you three questions during step one. Question number one, what date were you fired as a W-2 employee? In this example, assume it's October 1st when the boss said to you, ma'am, you're fired as a W-2 employee. Put in October 1st. Then it's going to ask you two other questions in step one. Are you willing to work? Absolutely. Able to work? Yes. Must answer yes and yes to get approved. Willing is a mental question. The able is a physical question. Pretty easy. It is. Claim is approved. Off to step number two. At step number two, it's going to ask you to ask for weekly benefits, or what's called certified for weekly benefits. When you're certified for weekly benefits, you're asking for the checks for each week that you are unemployed as a fired W-2 employee. Now, here's, again, something no one ever teaches you. And the unemployment office is never going to teach you this either. <laughs> they don't care to help you on anything, do they? Let's go over how this works. In the example, you were a W-2 employee employed in September 2022. You got fired October 1st, 2022. Then what happened? You were unemployed as a fire W-2 employee, former employee, in October, the whole month, the whole month of November, the whole month of December, and then January 1, 2023, congratulations, you got a brand new other job. You found this recording, however, only, to Feb only until February 2023. Can I still get unemployment for October, November, and December last year? I mean, I got a job eventually, but what about for when I was unemployed? Can I get stimulus? Absolutely. No one teaches this. Even though you later get a job in February of 2023, you are very much unemployed in the month of October 2022, November 2022, and December 2022 in this example. And because you are unemployed as a fire W-2, you can get unemployment for those weeks you are an unemployed fire W-2, just for those weeks, even though something turns very positive for you at a later date, many, many months later. That's absolutely how it works. So you can go back in time and get these incredible sums of money. And if you're just watching the show tonight, you're like, is there a time limit? Generally, there is not. So go back and get that time at which you were unemployed, those checks. Moreover, if you're too early, it'll tell you too early. It's incredible. Go get it. You deserve it. 
What's important to understand for 2023 stimulus is that people just presume it's 2023. I haven't seen them do anything. I, you know, all they're doing nightly is just voting for that darn guy out of Bakersfield. <laughs> they're not doing anything. They're not passing stimulus. They're just voting for that guy with the strange haircut out of Bakersfield. <laughs> Well, guess what? Uh, 2023 stimulus is not from the guy from Bakersfield. It's from the people before him in 2020, 2021, 2022. So if they're still voting for that guy from Bakersfield tomorrow. Don't worry because the stimulus is still around because it's from 2020, 2021, and 2022. He's not sending you stimulus. He's from Bakersfield. And guess what? Here's something also important to remember, which I don't think I've ever brought up. Unless he's ever elected... <laughs> which he may or may not, as Speaker of the House, he can't undo, revoke, cancel prior stimuluses. It's very, very difficult. And certainly he's not Speaker of the House, so that's not happening, at least in the next uh, few minutes of this recording. <laughs> so let's continue. Tonight, we're going to go back into these incredible stimulus checks. So understand, 2020 had all those stimulus checks, so did 2021, so did 2022. It's still all live, and it's all for you. So how do I now get these beautiful stimulus checks? Step one, you go into this video, join the channel. Join channel one, LA1, join channel two, LA2, or join channel three, LA3. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Hit that join button under the video. Then, under the video, in the description of the video, at the top of the chat in the pinned comment, and also in under the video in the pinned comment of the video, there's a link to go right into that website news.la.com forward slash newsletter. It's a simple website. It's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I developed it just for you. It's my Christmas gift for you for 2022. It's so simple. Viewers love it. You never have to worry about your time zone. You never have to worry about finding it. You don't have to ask where it is. It's all over this video. Top of the chat, pinned comment, under the descriptions, everywhere. You go right in. Then, last step, in the most recent post on your channel for which you are a paid member, then look at the line and it says current password. Current password. So every post, every post has the current password. It's down around the sixth line of the post. So it's not the first line. Just look a little lower. It says it right in there. Get that password and go right in. In the second half of this recording, it's perhaps the most important recording second half of a week. Why? I'm going to show you, as you learn to earn every night on this channel, but more importantly tonight, why it's important in 2023 to understand where something went, not so much, more importantly, to know why it went there. In tonight's recording, I'm going to show you it's more important to know why something is going a certain direction in this economy than how it eventually ended. Mark it up, mark it down. No, it's more important to understand why the market went up and why the market went down. And why is tonight the example? Because tonight the market went up 700 points. And tonight you're going to see there was no justification for the market to go up 700 points. In fact, it was wrong justification at best. And wrong justification is very dangerous because you know what happens? The next day you go down dramatically. We'll go over this analysis the big second half. Get ready for eggflation, yolkflation, milkflation, uh, wageflation. We got it all. We got um, poinsettiaflation. <clears throat> poinsettiaflation. It's hard to say. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as tonight's major show from the shores of San Marcos, California continues. It's evenings, LA. I'm excited you're here. I'm excited you're a brand new member. I'm excited you're part of this incredible Purple Power community. And tonight's broadcast, you're going to learn in the second half how simple this all is. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as all the breaking news continues on evenings. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. 
Join LLA Daily for the excitement of the new LLA Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LLA at 9 a.m. Home LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And I'm going to continue in the big second half on the shores of Santa Monica, California, as we analyze why the market went up so dramatically today, ending 700 points up. It's not so much that it went up 700 points, it's why. And it concerns this building, the Federal Reserve. And tonight we're going to go over understanding when movements make sense and when they don't. The most fundamental discussion we learned in 2022 is understanding that the Federal Reserve is not changing course. The Federal Reserve will not stop its pivot, will not stop its interest rate spikes. Let's go over who the Federal Reserve is and what they're doing and what you need to know across the board. The Federal Reserve has two purposes with its establishment by charter. One, curbing inflation, stopping inflation, which is also called maximum price stability, meaning keeping prices as stable as possible or inflation as low as possible. The other purpose of the Federal Reserve is maximum employment, keeping the most people employed as possible. So again, maximum employment and keeping inflation as low as possible. How do they do that? A balancing act. And how do they describe the balancing act? They describe the balancing act the following. If unemployment is staying low and inflation is staying high, then they can make more people unemployed, they say this, by to bring inflation down by raising interest rates. Let's say that again. They want unemployment low and they want inflation low. But they know sometimes they got to give up a little bit of one to get the other. So that we already know inflation's still around. And we already know unemployment's low. So they are happy, the Federal Reserve, in their own words, to make the unemployment get a little bit worse, more people unemployed, to get inflation lower. Pretty simple, very simple. They've said this a thousand times. They said it this week, they said it all last year. Here's what you need to know for 2023. You need to know at any moment what inflation is, and you need to know at any moment what the unemployment rate is, and then you need to know at any moment whether Wall Street is trying to sell you the Brooklyn Bridge. Whether Wall Street is trying to, trying to sell you snake oil, trying to sell you the Brooklyn Bridge, or running that same narrative they love, the Fed pivot. Oh, the Federal Reserve is going to stop raising rates because something looked really good today. It looked really good. I mean, Chloe looked great in that great new outfit. Um, did you see the Real Housewives firing? It was wonderful. Everyone loved it. And that's why the Federal Reserve is going to stop raising rates. They have an excuse every day for why the Federal Reserve is going to stop raising rates. It's wrong. It's nonsense. It's ridiculousness. Again, what does the Federal Reserve say about their policy and where they're going? Inflation is at 8%. It needs to go to 2%. These are the words of the Federal Reserve. And until we get it on a track to 2%, we're not stopping. Unemployment is holding up. Unemployment is actually going lower. So if unemployment is going lower, then we can still raise rates. Pretty simple. It's very simple. So what did the market do today and why is this the third prong of what you need to know for 2023? The unemployment rate, the inflation rate, and the nonsense from Wall Street. What Wall Street said today was one element of inflation went down. And that means the Federal Reserve is stopping to raise rates. Really? Come off already. And that, my friends, is why the market went up over 700 points today. Yeah, really? Absolutely. The reason why the market went up 700 points today, the biggest rally of 2023 so far, the largest rally in nearly 30 days, was because they sold you the Brooklyn Bridge once again. How do they do it? Let's do the details right now. 
This Friday was the major report that we were waiting for all month long to be released, the non-farm payroll number. We knew how important this was. We've been discussing this for a while. The non-farm payroll number and gives us the unemployment rate. The unemployment rate is released once a month. Remember, we have one number that was released once a month and another number that's released weekly. The weekly number is the new jobless claims number and the long-term unemployment number. The, f the number released today is the monthly number, the unemployment rate. Again, the two numbers you need to know at any moment in 2023 is what's inflation. It's currently 8%. And what is the unemployment rate? Well, we learned that this morning. Drum roll, here we go. Here was the unemployment release this morning. Yeah, you're reading that right. It went down. It went down even more than Wall Street expected. Unemployment in the United States dropped to a beautiful 3.5%. That was even lower than Wall Street expected. While she expected unemployment to fall to 3.7, it fell even further to 3.5, which means more people are employed, less people are unemployed. So here comes the clown show. If unemployment's lower, as part of the dual mandate, dual obligation of the Federal Reserve, two things to do, maximum employment, maximum price stability. If unemployment's lower, then what are they going to do with inflation? Hit it even harder. If unemployment is really low, lower than expected, then they can come in more aggressively to get an inflation down by raising rates. Pretty simple? Of course this is simple. This is very, very basic. You know this. I know this. We've been talking about this for over a year. So what did Wall Street do when they saw that unemployment rate? Ignored it. Ignored it. When this is the fundamental second most important number of 2023, the monthly or the weekly or whatever is inflation rate, and this monthly unemployment rate. They completely ignored it. And what do they run off of? The labor salary inflation. Really? Yeah, let me show you what they did today. So in that report released today, it showed that the growth of wages, which is another also called wage inflation, going from, let's say, $10 an hour to $12 an hour to $15 an hour, that's wage inflation. It did not grow as much as expected. Wage inflation was lower than estimated. And with that one third line of this graphic, wage growth less than EST estimated, wage growth was less than estimated, the entire market ignored the most important number of the day, which was this one, and said, well, because wages are not growing as much as expected, the Federal Reserve is going to stop raising rates. Let's all go celebrate. Party at Mitch's house. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Are you laughing yet? Because it's nonsense. It's complete nonsense. The market was up 700 points because one component of today's job report showed that wages did not go up, wage inflation, as much as expected. You're about to look at me and say, I have eggs in my hand, LA, and they're $12. That's eggflation. Did it go down? No, it did not. I have, um... I have Brussels sprouts in my other hand. Brussels sprouts are going up, aren't they, Bob? Bob Bacon, aren't Brussels sprouts going up? You know the price of Brussels sprouts. It's Brussels spration. <laughs> Brussels splatflation. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Uh, zucchini boats are going up, Anne, aren't they? Zucchini boflation. <laughs> it's just there's a lot. And banana bread's going up. Banana blaflation. Yeah, this is a <laughs> shot, Tom. So there's a, everything else is going up, but the salaries are going down or not going up as much as expected. That is why the Federal Reserve is going to stop raising rates, trade up the market, seven or points, let's do it, come on, peer pressure. Nonsense. Nonsense. It's complete nonsense. So this is why 2023 must be the year for you to know why things are going in certain directions. Not so much that they're going in a direction. If you sat back tonight and said the market was up 700 points, wow. You could sit there and say, 500 reasons in your mind why the market went up several points. And maybe they're all good reasons. My answer to you tonight is that they're all wrong reasons, and wrong is bad. You want to be right when you're trading things up. So what would be an example of the market to go up, and a good right reason for the market to go up? Target, reporting fourth quarter earnings and showing that there was a very big demand for store purchases in-store sales were way up in the fourth quarter. I'm just using a hypothetical. This not, did not yet happen. We don't have that fourth quarter earnings yet. Or Walmart saying, you know what, um, Black Friday was not as expected, but we have big projections of 2023 massive demand back in the stores we're expecting. We expect uh, 
consumer demand to pick up by summer 2023. That's the type of word you would want. That would be why you would want to trade up the market. <laughs> Not because one component of inflation went down. Salaries is just one component of inflation. We also have the rent, 30%. The eggs, eggflation. We have groceries. We have medical. We have a lot of components of inflation. And one component going down, of course, is not reason for the Federal Reserve to pivot across the board. As if this could not get any more ridiculous, the training up the market 700 points tonight is less than two days away from when, two days away? I think it's, yeah, it was two days, 48 hours away from when the FOMC minutes were released from the month of December. And that's what they said at the month of December. What did they say in the month of December, the Federal Reserve? They all said, we're doing these interest rate spikes until we have a meaningful downward trend to 2% inflation. Meaningful downward trend to 2%. Earlier this week, I described to you that that wording is a little bit easier. It's a little bit different. Originally, they had all said through all last year and earlier this year, they need to get inflation to 2%, 2, 2%, exactly to 2%, and stay there for a while. So it's at 8, they wanted it at 2 and staying at 2 for a while. But the December minutes that were released this week said they need a meaningful downward trend towards 2%. And you're going to ask me, what does that mean? Well, we really don't know. Is 3 towards 2? Yeah, it is from 8 to 3, Absolutely. But it's seven towards two. <laughs> Maybe it's not. I mean, seven is closer to eight. It's not, not a meaningful downward trend. But again, the Federal Reserve has made it very clear. We're not stopping our interest rate spikes. We're just not stopping them. What's going on here is this Brooklyn Bridge selling nonsense almost every week with this market. And I got to tell you, if it's starting to feel a little bit like um, ooey, like, ooh, ooh, it just, it just feels like dirty. It feels like there's some dirty people on Wall Street that are literally back with the same Brooklyn Bridge selling scheme every night for you. Oh, did you see this in this report? This is a reason to trade up the market. Because this is, it's nonsense. I mean, it's complete nonsense. It's not, it doesn't even look, it doesn't even pass the smell test. Again, why would you get excited with this market? You would get excited with this market if you have corporate earnings from fourth quarter, which are coming in just a few days from now on this channel, that showed beats in that fourth quarter and shows that the fourth quarter was not that bad for 2022 and or guidance for 2023 that is actually really quite upbeat. We don't have that yet. Number two, if we had some manufacturing reports that showed the U.S. economy was growing, manufacturing reports are critical because they're based upon sales. If there's a lot of sales, they manufacture more. Pretty simple, absolutely. And what did we see in this week? Just horrible numbers. The PMI manufacturing report, biggest drop in one month in, I don't know, 20 years. I couldn't even remember. It was just an enormous drop in one month. We had another manufacturing report released the day after, and that report was the ISM, and that came in uh, weak. They expected to be weak, but it came in weak. We also had Kashari's comments from the Federal Reserve uh, yesterday, uh, Thursday, and his comments were, um, I'm not changing course. I'm interest rate spiking. And what else did we have in today's data that also would be troubling across the board? Banks being downgraded. Deutsche Bank, which is a bank, downgraded other banks today. Bank of America, downgraded by Deutsche Bank. J.P. Morgan Chase, downgraded by Deutsche Bank. Good, not good. City Bank then downgraded all equities today. Is this continuing a narrative that you're understanding? It absolutely is. Because when wage growth came in less than expected in a day in which everything else is just horrible and the market trade up 700 points, they're just looking for an excuse to trade up the market. They're trying to get an excuse to get people excited about the market. And that is really pure danger. And that's why it's so important tonight to understand wh how to get the stimulus, more importantly than what the stimulus is, and more important, and also to understand why the market is going somewhere, not that how it ended there. Let's say that another way. Don't care that the market ended up 700 points, whether it's 300, 700, down 20. I don't care. It's really why did it make that move. Tonight you see that the move was unjustified.
it was illogical. It was nonsense to trade the market up 700 points when there was no data and the only data that was released today, well, there's no data that was that positive, I should say. And the only data that was released today was hideously negative because the unemployment rate was so low, that can only mean one thing. The Federal Reserve will stay course and continue to raise rates. They ignored that data, the nonsense people, and jumped over to another data point and used that to sell you the Brooklyn Bridge again. Federal Reserve is going to stop raising rates. No, you're selling me the Brooklyn Bridge every night. Next, we will go over stimulus. And you know what? Um, I haven't seen them do anything for stimulus on C-SPAN. All I've seen is that guy from Bakersfield um, cry every round that he does not become speaker. <clears throat> I've seen him order pizzas into a room that's not even his in the in the house in the in the Capitol. So they're not passing stimulus because I've not seen it. <laughs> Again, that is just looking at the seven hundred point of the market up. That's not understanding where stimulus comes from. Stimulus, once it's passed, generally does not expire unless it's all used up, and there's often so much of it it doesn't get used up. And it doesn't have an expiration date on it like a jug of milk. So if it was written in 2020, it will not expire generally until it's all used up. And tonight is over half a billion of it unused. So that's why this channel exists. It's important to understand where things go and how they got them to that spot rather than just looking at the markets up 700 points or looking at a $600 stimulus check or $10,000 or $50,000 stimulus check. It's important to understand how to get there. So what do you do? Step one, you go right on this video, join the channel. Welcome to the brand new hundreds of members who join this channel every 48 hours. Membership is way up on all three channels. Go under the video of channel one, channel two, or channel three, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. Then go into the video and hit that button for the newsletter website. It's news.la.com forward slash newsletter. Go right into that tonight and start applying for stimulus check A, B, and C. I love stimulus N. I bet you do as well. The computer, the tablet, and the free internet. Go to that stimulus N as quickly as possible. Then, uh, if you're a small business owner, make sure you reach out to your tax preparer immediately to learn about that beautiful stimulus check R. It's also in the membership newsletter. And then continue all through A, B, and C. Certainly focus on B because that is a great stimulus item. Go over to E to K, L to Q. Tell your friends and family to immediately get these incredible stimulus checks. Again, these are stimulus checks for you. These are stimulus checks for you, SSI. These are stimulus checks for you, SSDI. These are stimulus checks for you, SSA. These are stimulus checks for you, veterans. These are stimulus checks for you, low income. Get as many across the board. On average, 18 months, five checks per month, $3,000 a month. From the shores of San Marco, California, God bless. Don't always do what's right and do not do things that are wrong. Don't focus on the end result. Focus on the path to getting there and you will be in a better shape as part of the Purple Power community. Stay informed, stay focused, and join me throughout the night as the programming continues on all three channels as LA continues. <laughs>